Well, here we are. Grandma, we need to talk. Really, I thought you said we were going to the park. This isn't a park. Where are the swings and slide? And the sandbox. A park isn't a park without a sandbox. This is a very special kind of park. This is one of my very favorite places. We better keep on our toasts. She promised us ice cream later, too. With our luck, she'll give us a cone full of spinach. Blah. What's so special about it? Come, let me show you. You see the names of those people there? Yeah, who are they? Those are the names of the people from this area who died during the war. It is possible that they died so that I could be here with you today. In fact, you could say that they died so that even you too could be here today. Really, Grandma? Yeah, huh? If I did not survive the war, you might not be here today. Well, Grandma, look at this. Come on, Grandma, let's check it out. Whoa. Grandma, did they really use things like this to kill people? Unfortunately, they did. It was an ugly time. A lot of people lost their lives. Unfortunately, many of those who lost their lives were innocent victims. Unless they were German, right, Grandma? Why would you say a thing like that? Billy Watson, a kid in my history class, told me his grandfather fought in the war and that the Germans started the war. Isn't that right, Grandma? Well, that's true. But not all Germans were bad. I'm not surprised Billy was wrong. I've never liked him ever since he tried to stuff the class hamster into the pencil sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Billy says all Germans were Nazis, and everyone knows Nazis were bad. Is that true, Grandma? Were all Germans Nazis? Come here. You come. Let me tell you a little story. Sit. Now, come here. Quickly, girls. Look, Mom, up ahead. We've seen soldiers in checkpoints before. In the middle of the forest, Mom? Just look ahead. Yes, I wish we saw them. All right. I am sorry. I did not mean to startle you. I just wanted to speak with you for a moment. You have nothing to fear from me. What can I do for you? Nothing. There is something I believe I can do for you. I hate this war. I hate the death and destruction it has caused. It sickens my stomach to know that all of this was caused by my fellow countrymen, who for the most part blindly followed the ambitions of our beloved Führer. I hate the idea that people can just randomly be shot for irrelevant reasons. And most of all, 
hates the fact that innocent children are made to suffer. Going days without any food. And for what? And for what? I may not be able to stop this war, but I believe I can ease your suffering just a bit. There is a clearing in the middle of the West Forest near the river. Do you know where it is? Good. Send someone there every Tuesday night at 9 o'clock, starting tonight. There will be something there waiting for you. It will no doubt help your family, certainly now that you are waiting for another child. It is close to here, away from town, so you need not worry about the patrols. For your family's sake, show up. You will not regret it, I promise you. Are you a fool, woman? Do you really think that you can trust a German? They are all heartless animals. God, don't you know how vulnerable we are? They can shoot you for no reason at all, and you sit here and try to tell me how kind he sounded? You know better than to talk to those guys. She didn't have much of a choice, Dad. What were we supposed to do, run? What, what reason would he have to tell me that story? To see how stupid we are. For all we know, he could be sitting there right now on the edge of that field with his finger on the trigger of his machine gun, ready to mow us down for breaking curfew. Dad, I believe him. He didn't sound like any other soldier we've seen before. Stay out of this, Mona. You're too young to understand. You're not the only one who's gone through five years of war, Dad. I know what it's like to go days without food, wondering when we can eat again, and being scared every night with those planes flying over. Things will never change, will they, Dad? It's now beyond just thinking of us as children. It's now to the point that you see us as a threat. Little children, not being able to keep our mouths shut. Is that what bothers you? Do you see your family as a threat to you? If they find out that I'm here, we're all dead. You know damn well they take people like me and send them to slave labor camps. And it's not just about me. You know that I'm part of the resistance and how important that work is. If they even get a scent of that, they could execute us. All of us. How would he know that you are here? I did not tell him, and I know that we weren't followed. He could see that you are pregnant. How do you think he thinks you got that way? Immaculate conception? He knows a man is involved. You said so yourself. They don't need an excuse to shoot us. Why go through all this trouble? I cannot answer that, nor will I try. All I know is that I will not risk my life because you're foolish enough to think that a Nazi got a conscience. Mom, do you think that man was telling the truth? Could there really be something good waiting for us? I really don't know, honey. I could go. I know where it is. I could leave just before dusk and hide in the bushes. No, your father was right. It's much too dangerous. But I've been there before to collect firewood, remember? It's not far, and I know places to hide. Please, we could all get sick if we don't eat. She's right, Mom. You have a baby coming, too. You have to think about that. Okay, but you must be very quick. I will. I want to come with you. No. You may need my help. No. It's better if I go alone. It's easier for one person to hide. You stay with Mom. I may need you to cover for me with Dad. Okay, I will. But promise me you'll be careful, okay? I promise. knows what she's doing and she hasn't been gone that long. Besides, Dad's still asleep. Mona will be back long before he goes out with his resistance friends. 
If anything happens to her, I will never forgive myself. Oh, what took you so long? I was getting sick with worry. I couldn't help it, Mom. I found this box and it was so heavy to carry. Oh. I heard the door close. What is going on here? I went to the clearing, Father, and found this. Have you lost your senses? What if the Germans saw you? I was careful, Father. I promised no one saw me. I didn't even see a patrol. You were lucky. It could have cost us our lives. Well, don't just stand there. Open it. Let's see what we risked our lives for. We were occupied for five years, and food was scarce. I honestly believe that not all of us would have survived had it not been for the actions of one man who went against everything he was taught and did what he knew was right. And it is because of him that I did not get consumed by the hatred and bitterness for the Germans like a lot of other people did. So. To answer your question, no, not all Germans were Nazis. Wow, Grandma, did you ever see that soldier again to thank him? What happened to him? I only saw him the one time. The boxes of food came for about five weeks. Then they just stopped. We'll never know what happened to him. If he was captured, then surely he would have been killed. Was he transferred? Did he flee? We'll just never know. Guess Billy doesn't know everything, does he? <laughs> no, I guess he doesn't. Can't wait to see him at school tomorrow. That's right, sis. Go get him and make sure you give him an extra pop in the nose for me. <laughs> Go. Go. 